Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poop, and we are back with Let's Play Okami HD on the PlayStation Network. Last time, we tried to exit Kamiki Village, and we were unable to do so because this giant rock is in the way, and our magnificent power slash of slashing does a whole lot of nothing to this rock. So, we were told we gotta go find Susano. So, let's go find the legendary hero Susano and see if he can open up the door for us. And he is over here, just so you guys know, the great warrior Susano. Yeah, he's not a warrior, he's a warrior. Yeah, that's, that's great. I guess he's more of the musclehead type than the intelligent type. Two-bit middle-aged warrior. Sounds like a good description. So he's a wannabe kinda. Okay, you see this rock right here? See how it's all brown and stuff? Uh, you cannot power slash this rock. Why? Because you suck and you can't power slash it. But we'll get to that later. Much later, actually. Anyways, let's head on in here and talk to the legendary warrior, Susano, and see what he's so worried about. It's a big sword on the wall. I don't think you can do anything with it, though. Nope. But, you can power slash that little scroll right there. And he has a little shrine. Wait, just because he has a picture doesn't mean he doesn't train at all? I don't get the reasoning for that, but okay. I thought it would just mean that he has a crush on, on Kushi, but that's just my opinion, I guess. Wait, he's sleeping under a... He's sleeping under a barrel? That's probably not good for ventilation purposes. Unless there's a secret passage down underneath it. And there's the lazy sack. You're the greatest slacker is what you are. And I guess talking doesn't work for this guy. So I guess we're gonna have to take a bit more drastic measure. Let's try a power slash. You can also headbutt him too if you don't want to waste ink. You should since you've been sleeping for, I don't know, probably the whole day. Amy, why are you wagging your tail at him? You know he's a slacker. Yeah, and I'm not looking to be no one's apprentice. My monkey friends? I'm gonna interrupt something else here if you don't go out there and slash that boulder for me, pal. I never even left. Emmy sure must be strong if she can pick up this guy. I mean, I'd probably say he's about 160, 170 pounds. Wolves are big animals, but I don't think they're really that big, are they? And we get our just trophy, Descending Descendant. And 
Gotta love how he's on us and he's cowering and cringing. Look at it, look at him shake. He, he's afraid he's gonna fall off or something. Gotta love this when you're dragging him along and floating in the wind, kinda. I don't know, what's that word? Uh, not floating in the wind, uh, streaming in the wind, kinda. Something like that. I'm not sure. Tohen Boku. We're not engaged in anything there, Chumpy. Yeah, you should be useful for something around here, right? Okay, so hop to it. I like this guy. He gets right down to business. If I retire to the training grounds, you mean slink away like the weasel you are and never come back, then yeah, sure. And there you have it. Okay, a little bit of uh, information on Mr. Susano. Uh, in Japanese um, legends, he's the Shinto god of the sea and storms. Kind of like a kind of like Poseidon in Greek mythology, except except not. So he's actually uh, Amaterasu's brother, who Amaterasu being the god of the sun, and he's also the brother of Sukiyomi, the god of the moon. So he's also in the uh, in the legend, he's also pretty bad-tempered and prone to prone to getting mad all the time about stuff. So he's not the best guy, even in the legends. But um, in the legend, he kind of went. Uh, he got into a fight with Amaterasu about uh, who could make more people, like create more people, and so he used Amy's necklace and created more people than him. Her, it, him. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her her like I should, shouldn't I? And Amy basically said you can only do that because you, you he used her power. He got super mad about that, and he threw a fit, and he got he got banished from the heavens. And while he was running around Earth, he met a he met a couple who had a, who had several daughters. And this is where Kushi comes in. Those daughters were being sacrificed to a eight-headed serpent, Orochi, and they promised Susano that if he could save the last daughter from being eaten by Orochi, he could have her as a bride. And what he did, he turned Kushinati, Kushinata, which by the way that's her name in the folklore is Kushinata, not just Kushi, uh, he turned her into a comb to, in order to protect her, and then he went to go battle uh, the eight-headed snake. He used a powerful sake to get the snake drunk and asleep, and then he chopped off all its heads while it was asleep. In, in the snake's body, he found a legendary Kusanagi sword, and then he gave that to uh, Amaterasu as a, basically, forgive me type of gift. So, he's kind of, he's kind of a douche in the, uh, in the legends, and he's kind of a slacker in this game, so... It's a reasonably close representation, as we'll see eventually, or not. He might be better here, I don't know. Okay, let's talk to this guy. What does having, what does being at a sake mean, like, at all? Ah, so you need sake in order to train. Hey, 
Hey, that would be Kushi, wouldn't it? You know what? Let's go over to so uh, Kushi's house and uh, see if she'll give us any. On our way over there, though, we're going to get these two treasure chests from the water. And the best way to do that is to just go near them and power slash them. Eventually, they'll float up and we can grab them. We got the rabbit statue, which is one of the Zodiac uh, treasures. Again, it's useless, just like all the other treasures. All you can do with it is sell it. We need it to complete our treasure tome. And for the um, Zodiac treasures like that, there's only one of each of those in the game. They're not missable, it's just there's only one of them. There's a couple of one or two of them, but for the most part, most of them only have the one statue. But don't worry, they're not missable at all. And we got the glass beads. Another sellable item. Okay, and here's Miss, Mrs. Kushi. Let's see if we can't raid her field for uh, some rice cakes first. There we go. I love this place. Nice and easy to fill up on your astral pouch. And I totally managed to get a whole one of those. And I was trying to get all of them. Ah well. Anyways, Kushi. Aw, oh, she gave me a scratch on the head for slashing her. Alright, you got anything useful to say to me? A bit of a problem. Broken windmill? That doesn't seem like it's too hard to take care of. Yeah, you probably shouldn't let monsters drink. I mean, they're already kind of violent, right? Yeah, see? Yeah, no problem. And she doesn't have anything else to say. Oh, by the way, in here, which I don't think we got last time, we can get watermelon. Which I think restores one point of the astral. Oh, it restores five points, my bad. I was thinking of something else. But anyways, we just gotta restore her windmill for her. Being the kind and generous people that we are. And camera. There we go. That would be me. I appreciate it. I really and truly do. Alrighty, let's go see what she's got for us now. If we can find the door to her house. Might as well destroy her possessions while we're in here. Except they don't seem to be very destroyable, so never mind. And look, there's the windmill. Or, not a windmill, the, uh... The mill. Yeah, I want to learn how to brew beer. Brew sake. Vista of the Gods. They sure do have some... Unique names for their beverages in this game. Well, considering I was alive a hundred years ago, I'm assuming I'm reasonably old enough to drink. Well, then again, I was kind of like in a statue for a hundred years, so maybe not. Okay, let's just bring this back to Susano, though, and see if now that'll get him motivated to cut the gate so we can get out of here. It sure is. It's all for me, though. Nope, 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 Amy. Give it to me, not him. You bastard. Hey, what happened to, uh, you mangy mutt? Now I'm your friend all of a sudden there, bud? Oh, 
Alright, now let's see if this guy actually does something. Okay, what you're supposed to do is power slash it, but if you don't, then you realize just how much uh, Susano fails because he can't even cut a wooden and straw dummy. Yeah, he kind of fails without your help here, so let's try that again and see if he actually works. There we go, much better. Yeah, you don't gotta slash the same way that he's slashing. As long as you, as long as you cut it down, you're good to go. Oh, well, he sure is motivated. Exploding implosion. Sounds like an addition from Legend of Dragoon, doesn't it? I think during these little scenes, you always have like infinite um, ink when you're trying to do something like this. They never say, oh, you can only use your three ink pots and your SOL. They're actually nice enough to make sure you're not able to run out. A way to have confidence in yourself. Your parents must be proud. Uh, that's more like it, son. You're the greatest napper who ever lived. Not the greatest warrior. Yeah, you should go out there and clean up the land. I like how he gets all worried, starts sweat comes pouring down his face. He's like, uh, yeah, this ain't gonna happen. Blah, 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 monsters? Well, get out there and start doing it, bud. <laughs> Oh wow, he actually went out there and went to go challenge some monsters. Yeah, pretty much, he's kinda useless without help. Hey, it's Sakuya, and... Okay, tell me what you think, is that supposed to be her butt showing through her dress? Or is that supposed to be like a, uh, a peach blossom or something? Because... It could honestly be either one. Oh, she knows it was us. I feel so much better now that someone's actually giving us credit for the work that we're doing. You know, maybe like a kiss or something? Yeah, he kind of sat there and just, uh... Sat there. But again, without him, it'd be kind of hard to communicate with the people that I need to, so... I guess he's mildly useful. Hey, how about I crawl back into our kimono and you stay on Amy's nose there, Listen, I think that would work out best for all of us. I doubt that. There you go, that's good. Way to pull him down. One sad looking tree, isn't it? Of 
Guardian saplings, huh? They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding them. Well, that's not good, is it? Okay, that's really not good. Yeah, so is Amy snores. Oh sure, make me go out and do all the work. Don't you want the great hero Susano to go do all the work? Okay, anyways, what we gotta do now is we gotta go to these we gotta go to these guardian saplings right here and we got to we got to bloom them and make them all pretty and stuff and restore magic to the land and all that good stuff. So I guess that's something we might as well get started on. Seriously, can anybody in video games ever do anything for themselves? Well, at least he's honest about it. At least he's not pretending to be nice to us for no reason. He actually just straight up says, I want to steal your powers, kinda, and I'm gonna stick around for a while. At least he's honest. Alrighty, so now we gotta go find those trees, but before we do that, we have a few things to do in Kamiki Village still, so we're gonna finish those up, and then we'll go out. First off, we wanna talk to this little bastard. Sure, let's do some shopping. Alright, let's see what he has to sell. Okay, he has all the seed bags that we're gonna, we're gonna need, and we're gonna need a couple of them. Uh, probably gonna need more seeds than anything. So let's grab let's grab five seed bags, um, and then two of everything else for right now. Well, we only have enough for one of this one, but oh well, we'll get more in a little bit. Uh, let's see, Exorcism Slip S that does a very small amount of damage to enemies. It's mildly useful. Steel Fist Sake increases your attack power for I want to say thirty. 30 seconds or so. Might be a little longer. Uh, Steel Soul Socket increases your defense for the same amount of time. Holy Bone S, three, three units of health are restored. So, pretty standard stuff. Um, vengeance Slip, that just means you're invincible for for a while. You they will, Enemies won't be able to hit you. So, that's pretty useful. Alright. And we want to get rid of these treasures and sell them for money. Money, money. Because money makes the world go round. Oh, and I guess we had more than one glass bead. Alright. Now let's grab one more fish feed bag, even though we're not going to need that for a while. And you know what? We're going to probably need... Yeah, let's just grab seven total seed bags. Alright, and now, let's get started on clearing out the rest of the animals in Kamiki Village. And doing some other stuff in here. Not, not a whole lot to get left done, but there's some stuff. Okay, there's these sparrows right here. Luckily you don't gotta sit through that animation every time, so if you did, that would kinda suck because I think that animation is several, at least a minute long, at least. Oh, and one thing to note about these trees right here, you can slash them down and they're like Superman, they come right back up. Isn't that amazing? Okay, anyways, we have more underwater treasures over here. And we get a vase. Very nice. 
and more astral pouch stuff. I forget what that one's called, but it's obviously not that important. And let's see. We can feed the dog over here. He takes meat, being a carnivorous animal. Kind of looks like a tiger with the stripes. No, no, not color-wise, obviously, but just uh, the pattern-wise. And look, I'm not sure if you guys noticed it earlier, but he's got a little dragonfly kite fl flying around behind him. Isn't that cute? I wish I had a little dragonfly kite. It looks like the wings are even moving and everything. I like it. That's just me. Okay, if we head in here... And we head back here... There's nothing, because I'm looking at the wrong house, aren't I? Yeah, I'm in the wrong house. This is just a sake barrel right here. Even So this must be where she lives, and the other place is just where she works. And you get, there are plenty of play games where where they live and where they work is pretty much the exact same thing, so... She's lucky that she has a separate house. And we see more sparrows over here. Thank you very much. And then, as you can see right here, there's a treasure chest buried. You don't ha it does not have to be nighttime in order to uh, to retrieve the treasure chest. It just makes it easier because then they'll be shining in light and you'll be able to see where they are just a lot easier. I mean, you don't have to do it at nighttime. It's just a lot easier to look for them at nighttime because their location glows and it's easy to find them. And I'm not digging up your turnips, you old bag, so leave me alone. Okay, chickens, they also eat feeds, or seeds. And what do you know, we got enough praise to raise an attribute again. And now we're gonna go for the ink, which is more expensive to level up than the health. Why? I don't know. They're bastards like that. They, that's just what they had to do, I guess. Okay, now... Um, I'm still in the wrong area. Here we go. This house right here, the Elder's house. Or Mr. Orange's house, as you want to call him. If you slash down his wall or headbutt his wall right here, and then dig... There's a treasure chest! Coral fragment. Dragon palace. I wonder where that's at. Sounds a bit unsafe, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's see. Okay, um... We can go to this island right here, too. There's a few things on here. Just make sure you don't drown. It's pretty much right at the the limit of how far you can swim without without drowning. And if you drown, uh, all you do is you lose one unit of health and you can return to the shore. But there's a treasure chest right here for us to get. With the wooden bear. And that's not a zodiac statue. Because the bear is not part of the zodiac, obviously. And another treasure chest. Dragonfly bead. Very good, very good more money 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 and I don't think there's anything else hidden over here at the moment if there is then I don't remember but yeah I don't think there's anything else right here we have a few more animals to feed and then we should be done in Kamiki Village for the time being See, I think the last set of animals to feed is the sparrows up here we already fed one we already fed one set, but we didn't have enough to feed these guys too, so there we go. Alright, and that's pretty much everything we can do in Kamiki Village for the time being. So next time, we're going to finally exit the village and get started on our quest to 
make um, Sakuya's trees blossom. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.